Hi, this video is a short introduction to X Toolbox. For the most part, I will focus on its main module, the Link Manager. So, here on the left side, you see my custom scenery folder with only the default airports because I moved all my senior packages to my other drive neatly organized into several folders, for instance, your Airports Europe. When you first start Xtoolbox, you will see this empty screen for the link manager. First, we'll need to add our custom scenery folder and explain. You will need to select the custom scenery folder itself, not the explain root folder. Now you see on the right side all the folders we left behind, the default scenery, still placed in the custom scenery folder in Xplain. Now we're going to add our storage folders where the actual scenery packages are stored. We'll go to the E drive and I'll just select a couple of them. Now on the left side you see all the folders with the actual scenery packages. Of course we want to link them to the custom scenery folder. All I have to do now is select the ones you want. Well, let's start by selecting them all. Choose the link type. In the manual the pros and cons of the different link types are explained. And you notice that these two turn red. Just is just a label, but this is a button. The fact that it turns red means that we made a selection on the left side, but nothing happened on the right side yet. Just click on this button. Now you will see that it's turned green again. This button is grayed out. And on the right side you see all kinds of links in the custom scenery folder. And of course you can see this on disk as well. Here is the actual scenery package on the e-drive and here you see the link made by X Toolbox in the custom scenery folder of Xplain. In the example so far I've used airports but of course you can all use all types of scenery packages. For instance, I've added here a storage folder with uh, Orto Scenery from Austria with, well, you recognize the type of uh, packages. And if I select them, you can see that for these you can create links as well. Unlinking is also very easy. Let's say you want to create a plain vanilla custom scenery folder again. I'll just deselect them all, hit the sync button and now you see on the right that all the links are gone again. So what happens if you add new airports? Normally if you start X Toolbox it will scan and detect new airports which are not yet linked from your storage folder to the custom scenery folder in Xplain. For now I will hit rescan and you can see here that there are two new airports in the Airports International folder which are not linked which is indicated by the red boxes. To link these as well we just follow the same procedure. Now we can see that these are linked as well. If you look at the names of these airports, that's not really the uh, name I would like for these packages. So I now go to the other tab, battery name. I'll select these two new airports. And on the right you have several options to change the name. In the right side you see the data which is retrieved from the files themselves, so explain data, and we can use this data to change the name. In general I would like 
to start with the airport code followed by a white space and then the name of the airport. Let's execute. And now you see that these names are changed. As you can see there was a special character in the name of the airport which is not allowed in a file name but I would like a white space here. Just double click insert the white space and now you can see that we have a new name here. But there's something important now because if I go back to the link manager page these two scenery packages the name changed. So if I hit rescan you get a message that bad lakes are found. On the left side you see the new names and these are unlinked and that is because on the right side the old links are no longer valid. To solve this it's easy just hit delete bad links now you see that the old bad links are gone. I'll just select these two again and create new links. So here you have them with the new name on the right side in the custom scenery folder. With Xtoolbox it's not something to worry about because Xtoolbox will automatically detect bad links. But it is an example why it's so difficult to maintain links manually. It's easy to forget if you move or rename a scenery package that the link turns bad. Just to show what happens, here you see in the custom scenery folder the old now bad link and here on the right side you see the renamed scenery package. If you double click on it We'll get this error matches. Xplane will just ignore this, so you will never see this scenery package in Xplane because this link does not work anymore. Something else that's very difficult if you manage your links manually is to track if you have linked every scenery package. For instance, this scenery package on the right side is missing here on the left side but there's another one that's also missing. Not very easy to track down. With Xtoolbox that is easy. You already see the yellow checkbox here and indeed this scenery is unlinked and this scenery is unlinked as well, indicated by the red boxes. I will make more in-depth videos for each module but I hope I've shown that Xtoolbox can make your explain life a bit easier. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.